Welcome back to the vlog guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Yes, the title is clickbait, in fact it is clickbait. We are not actually buying a supercar, although I wish we were. Today is officially the first day of summer and I cannot be more stoked about that. We're just going to be heading to a bunch of dealerships, looking at the cars and fantasizing about which supercar we would buy if we had that kind of money. I'm meeting up there with my friend Miguel. The first place that we're going to be stopping by is Dapper Coffee. It is in town and they have a bunch of classics and a bunch of supercars. I haven't been there before but we're going to check it out and we'll check you guys there. So we just got here to dab for coffee now. Well, we didn't just get here, we got here like half an hour ago. We just had our coffees now, had a little catch up session. It's the first time I'm seeing Mega Ill since before lockdown? Yeah, I think like Feb. Definitely yeah, since. Something. Yeah, definitely since before lockdown. Been a long time. Anyways, we're gonna take some photos now of the cars. They have some moderns, some classics here. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy the photos. Let me know in the comments which car you would get. Are you classic or are you are you the modern type? Miguel, what you what you got? Probably the alright. Or the spider back there, if you probably can't see right now. So guys, based on the photos and on the videos, which supercar are you going to get from Dapper Coffee? You say the R8 still? Yeah, or Spyder, or, or Spyder. Must say I'm an Aston Martin, so maybe that's V8, but also I think a good R8, good launch control, good R8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, the right, with the right exhaust. We're now going to head to Canal Walk for the Audi dealership. Miguel's going to go on his bike. I'm going to head to Orms quick to hand in some film to develop. We'll check you guys, probably at Orms. Holy smokes guys, today's weather is absolutely insane. I'm not gonna lie, there might be a beach vlog in today's vlog, which was not the plan at all, but yo. Uh, just handed in the film now to Orms. The next video should be about developing film. You know, I just wish I was this confident in front of the camera when I'm in the store. Like, there's just no way I can vlog this confidently in public. But at one time, I couldn't vlog like this, so <laughs> I guess that's some growth. But yeah, we're now heading to Porsche and Canal Walk, choose our supercar there, do some, you know, basic supercar shopping as if we can afford these type of cars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll catch you guys there. So we just got here now to Porsche. There is a Porsche Taycan over there. For those of you who don't know, the Porsche Taycan just came out and said it's Porsche's first electric hybrid. We're gonna head into Porsche now, hopefully get some photos. He's lying. It's not their first hybrid, it's their first fully electric car. Same thing, same thing, same, same thing. I'm literally overwhelmed by all the sports cars here. Um. <laughs> the guy here has organized us exclusive Porsche photo shoot. We have three generations of the Boxsters and the Porsche sales members are doing a photo shoot. Those cars are probably for sale, so if you want, I don't know where you're going to find it for sale, but somewhere on the internet is for sale. So, so what are you thinking? Are we going to potentially get a Taycan? Oh, I think, yeah, maybe the Turbo S version uh, we get there. Yeah, and then easy, maybe easy like a GT4 more? for the easy, weekend. Easy full, full bar right there, just yeah. uh, absolutely I mean, nothing. money is not object. I feel like such a pleb setting in this car. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it is so nice. I just need the key. This whole roof is Alcantara. Two screens. Look at this. There's like barely any buttons. There's no I mean, there's nothing buttons. here. Like, yeah. everything is digital. That's so cool with the word Taycan. And this day is also like damn nice. Yeah. Like, they're not like slow and low rates. Full like what 180 was like the whole curve effect. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 
Guys, this car is roughly around 4 million Rand. This is absolutely insane that I got to sit in the front seat of it. Honestly, this car is so good looking. I love it. Ridiculously. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sink in. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a maneuver, these seats. Oh. Okay, let's see if Daddy Long Legs can get in here. Can move the seat back a bit. I mean, no, that's that's literally perfect for driving. Mm -hmm. Holy smokes! Oh, look at the this drive. thing feels insane. <laughs> it feels like a Hot Wheel car. I'm sitting in a Hot Wheel car. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yo guys, that experience here at Porsche has been insane. We're on our way now to Lambo. Lamborghini. We're gonna see if we can get some Lambo content. I didn't get that much content here in the showroom of Porsche because I'm not really allowed to, I found out. I didn't know that. But nonetheless, we got some content. I'm really stoked that I got to sit in a 4 million Rand Tycon. How do you say it? Two car. Tycon. Tycon. It sounds like it comes off the menu of a Simply Asia menu, literally. <laughs> but yeah, we're now gonna head to Lambo. We're gonna get some photos and videos there. So far, what port did you guys get? I think I'm definitely leaning towards the GT3 RS really? and the Taycan. You can't have both, but yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the GT3 RS, yeah, definitely. Easily. So we just got here to Lambo now. I literally had to embarrass myself that I couldn't do parallel parking, but like, you know, not a, not a professional driver. Anyways, on our way now into Lambo. Mega Eels already here. Let's get some more epic content. I was literally so focused on trying to vlog that I forgot a mask, so take two. <laughs> All right, so Lamborghini doesn't really allow filming in the shop, which is, you know, a bleak one, but they allow cell phone footage, cell phone photos, so that's what I did. If you guys enjoy those photos. I think I would go with an event store, even though there wasn't in the one in the shop. Avengero SV is where I'm at. Yes, SV Roadster, SV that's Roadster. the one you want. But I do think, if I think hard enough in my head, that my little white Audi can 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 technically be a Lambo because Audi owns Lambo, so it's the same same infotainment system. <laughs> exactly, got that, exactly. Got that the same infotainment system and an old A3 is found in an Aventador. Yes. So I'm gonna say cheers here now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Thank you to Miguel Eel as well for hooking us up with all that footage. Without him, we wouldn't have gotten at least half of the footage that we got today. Go so follow him, link in the description, also at the video. Thank you. He's a professional car photographer, really sick photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Five hours later, we are here at Buckhoven. I'm here with Sky now. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, check me out on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. You know, guys, I never really speak about this on the vlog, but do you know how hard it is to vlog in public? Like, everyone in there is looking at you. You have this massive, obnoxious camera with a huge microphone on it. Everyone wants to know what you're doing. Like, it's hard. Gee, so I really apologize for the awkward sequence in the vlog there. I'm really going to try and, like, not care and just try to vlog properly in these dealerships, especially when it's all these quiet situations. 